Well, local law enforcement agencies can start applying for the $5,000 bonuses starting in July. Now here in Fort Smith, more than 130 police officers will be eligible for them. And the police chief says he thinks it could help recruit officers from outside the state. Nothing is more important for the government to do than to assure public safety. Today, Governor Asa Hutchinson signed Senate Bill 103 into law. It provides a one-time $5,000 bonus to every full-time certified law enforcement officer in the state, including probation and parole officers and those with the Department of Corrections. The bonuses are available until January 3rd next year. That means it's not only a reward for our law enforcement officers, but it is a recruiting tool for our counties and cities in attracting top law enforcement that, hey, sign up you get a $5,000 bonus. I think that that will be where it has the most significant impact is, in, is attracting um, police officers from other areas, police officers that are looking for a, uh, a better environment uh, to be a police officer. Recruiting new police officers has been a challenge not only in Fort Smith, but across the state and country. Chief Danny Baker says. We're literally in recruiting wars with other agencies and trying to um, seek out, recruit, and hire and retain quality police officers. We've made tremendous headway here at the Fort Smith Police Department in our vacancies. Uh, we had to take a really focused look at our recruiting practices and hiring practices. We've made some pretty significant and radical changes, none of which have um, resulted in a lowering of standards. Arkansas State Police will see the biggest benefit from House Bill 1026 that was also signed into law, raising the starting salary for state troopers from $42,000 to $54,000 a year. Our greatest problem we face today is recruitment and retention of law enforcement officers. With this legislation here, it will help us solve those problems. The new laws also create a public safety fund with $10 million to help local law enforcement agencies purchase body cameras, bulletproof vests, and other equipment that will build community confidence and professionalism of our law enforcement officers. Now, those law enforcement bonuses do not apply to local jailers, courthouse bailiffs, or police officers who are primarily employed by schools or universities. And also included in those laws that the governor signed today includes more money for local jails when it comes to housing people already convicted felons who are waiting to go to state prisons. Tonight at 6, we'll hear from the sheriff here in Sebastian County about how he says the extra funds will help. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.